Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot using any explosive or without uh, using any heavy weapon. It is time for Operation Devil Dream. The Golden Path missions continue and I really want to explore the Codex brain coordinates. But we're going to fight against the Hunter, and this here is going to be kind of a test in a non-timed environment where we're going to see how fast um, uh, Noxus and that Galleon Poe can get the guy down. Uh, Hogbite can theoretically assist as well, like partially, and so can Sane uh, with uh, their uh, combat protocol, but every melee attack is off the table. We're, going, uh, we're having a team which is uh, interesting because we're uh, going to have a lot of time to fight against the chrysalids and I'm even wondering to which degree maybe something like a hazmat vest uh, to become completely immune to uh, fire acid and poison uh, might be a good investment. Potentially not the worst to be honest. I mean we're not going to have that many um, that many chrysalids jumping us, hopefully. Speaking about which, did we have battle scanners? Yes, and uh, that is very useful for the mission. In which case, let's give Divert the vest, then he's going to be the one uh, going in front, uh, because his katanas cannot miss with Bladestorm. Hogbite is any, uh, anyways immune to it, so yeah, that looks like a better equipment, and we should be fine. We should be fine. Let's rock and roll. It's the first time that we're going to kill the hunter, because so far we always flat when we saw him. And we just landed. Damn it. What a nice uh, sight. Uh, both of the Psy operatives make everything around it uh, immune. So we got quite a few layers of immunity. It's an interesting, interesting environment. Normally we have more of a brushland and not necessarily like buildings as well. But I suppose that's fine for me, so why not? Holy shit. Okay. Uh, yeah, before all of these guys start to burrow, we might instead uh, start to actually hit them. Just so close. We're going for an Ionic Storm. Yeah, that would not be good enough. Well, I guess. I guess we. We could go with an Inspire, but that would be almost wasteful. Look at that, we got a Rookie here. <laughs> okay, not that it can do anything uh, because we're not allowed to shoot, but fantastic. We got a Rookie. Alright, the other option here is Bladestorm and essentially really charge in all the way. I think we're going to do that. They, know they will know. move closer. So all of them will take an additional hit. All right, that's one down. X-ray neutralized. And both of them take, took that additional hit. The other chrysalid will start to engage. Very nice. Good 
good. We gotta deal with the codices uh, eventually. They're pretty nasty. But one thing after the other. First, let's do the little hawk glide trick. Alright, here we go. That's two down, meaning hawk bite is already filled up. Which is why I wanted to do that. These guys here will die uh, automatically due to blade storm. Good, let's begin to engage the codices. Just out of curiosity, we could dominate them. That's maybe not the worst idea, to be honest. Let's take one of them permanently, uh, because they can actually use an ability. They're their bomb would effectively allow us uh, to disarm the chosen if he so decides to move up can we get something even better i mean we could control the we could control the gatekeeper so i will leave his domination up We're moving over here. That, of course, triggers yet another chrysalid. Not the worst thing that could have happened to us. We're inspiring. We will overcome. Okay, don't want to give the codex um, a partner in crime yet so instead let's kill the chrysalid the only thing that the codex will do is a, is a is a psionic bomb anyways so really not much to worry about to be honest And we don't even need a Mimic Beacon. At least I don't think so. Plus we don't yet need a Battle Scanner. We're okay. Yeah, let's just end the turn. There is Chosen. Almost Same as expected. Let's just familiarize ourselves, he regenerates, which is the problem together with immunity to melee. So the first two are actually the problem that we need to deal with. Maclord is easy, brutal, just means we need to recover longer. And Shadow Chap, uh, Step is irrelevant because we're... Well, it's not completely irrelevant. Um, it would... Uh, it means it also he also doesn't trigger Bladestorm, but then again, Bladestorm would deal zero damage. The actual problem is he has last. immunity to melee, and that's the almost main category of any form of damage that we're doing it's one of the chosen this mission just got a little more dangerous stay on top of this position and try to take it out good we got four chrysalids over here already down the fifth one over here is down as well so that means 12 we got the codex down that means 11, two chrysalids here, okay. Yeah, quite a few chrysalids actually. Not very surprising, we already know that there are quite a few chrysalids here, right? There's the psionic bomb we were talking about. I know, shocker. Who would have guessed? Good, there is the clone.
interesting to see that the clone just jumped so far away. Killing the other Codex. Alright, done deal. We really don't need a lot of cover because all we're fighting against are chrysalids. And there we go. That's pretty decent damage, to be honest. Maybe I'm going to use it when we're actually fighting uh, the Chosen. We're moving up. So far, the entire fight here had been pretty one-sided. The reason why I'm staying in the open is we're fighting against chrysalids and yeah, cover doesn't really matter that much. Teleportation over here. And that's the end of the turn. Good, I've seen, I think, three more borrowed chrysalids. He's grappling, does he take shot? No, that means no chrysalid uh, near us. Reinsuring. Let's use our battle scanner. This he should not trigger. Fantastic. And This here hopefully will reveal at least one of them. Good, this here should trigger the guy. Hmm. We're not going to use the axe here. Ah, this could trigger more chrysalids. But it is hogbite, so never mind. There we go, full focus. We're going to parry for now. Let's teleport over here. Shouldn't trigger anything. Nope, quite the opposite. Now, nah, before we're doing that, let's wait for the rest. It almost seems like a pretty decent uh, chance for a Mimic Beacon here. Normally we don't get many. And let's get a bit of a tighter formation again. Want to make sure that we're not triggering anything that's being borrowed over here. I'm on it. Hence, we're moving kind of as a cluster. Roger that. Yeah, the rookie can 
effectively just follow us at this point. Yeah, I decided to use the Mimic Beacon, so there is no point in, in doing anything but removing their weapons. That means they need to reload, uh, will essentially charge there and die. We got Perry. Interesting. I still prefer to do the good old, um, the good old psionic bomb trick. All right, and apparently we've just hit the mark because all of them are just charging in. Fantastic. No, we're not getting nervous. Um, actually, this is where the fun begins to start. On the move. Moving up. Is it clear? Moving up. Ooh, that's a good hit. That's a fantastic hit, that's four in an null lens. Holy shit. Wow, that was good. That was good. Pretty decent hit. Good, Rookie um, moves over here. Don't really need them. Good, how about, how about, killing this guy here. Very good. Replaceable and untouchable. Uh, we can use that a little bit later. The chosen hunter is targeting your position from long range. You need to get out of his line of sight before it's too late. All right, that here looks like a triple kill. Double kill, actually. The same fate for all the servants of the elders. The moving underneath us. Yeah, we're potentially. I'm going to get a retaliation here. You humans are awfully delicate. How'd you ever last this long? Good, we're going to Gremlin heal. We actually I think we don't necessarily need to. I would rather like to clear up the rest of the battlefield here. Let's make sure that this guy here will stay in stasis. Okay, good. Then let's continue by killing this codex and essentially putting another blade storm target that cannot miss up here. So if uh, we would be approached, that would be an auto kill. And we're moving up. Plus combat protocol just to get rid of uh, the remaining Codex. 
I don't like the positioning. We're pretty much in the open. Uh, it feels wrong because normally you want to have like a really clutch uh, position. But I suppose we're okay. This crystal could theoretically run all the way to here, which we want to prevent. So this is just to block a potential path if the chrysalid decides to ignore everybody else and just moves to there. Okbai takes revenge. And I think we're done with all of the chrysalids. Let's see if there is still one that lurks in the ground. Tracking shot's still there. So yes, uh, there is another chrysalid. Good. We're not going to charge in like blind and wild here. Instead, let's move over and just kill this guy. I can get uh, full force next round by just moving up there. Potential heal. We still got three more healing ready, so that's going to be fine. And another battle scanner just in case because something needs to be lurking here somewhere i think over here if i'm not mistaken let's take a good look there we go i knew it i remembered that that chrysalid borrowed over there all right moving up closing on target position now and we have a pretty solid uh, formation here. Codex really doesn't matter where we put it because it can teleport. And our living mimic beacon can move as well. Rosanna Martinez. All right, here we go. Chrysalid moves to here, and then to here, and moves back up. Okay, cool. There's nowhere to Still go. a tracking shot. Interesting. Teleportation. Scout out the enemy. Hawkbite moves in. Takes a nice little focus. Moving over to here. And let's give Hogbite an Inspire. We're potentially pulling uh, the Gatekeeper very soon. Yeah, most likely, like, literally right now. Not a hashtag, not a surprise. We've got the chosen in our sights. 
It's time to take them out. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this definitely looks promising. That's not the same word as the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. Okay, we are not going to pull around here, not lightly. <sighs> Instead, on. let's move into range. Make sure that we're doing exactly what we're supposed to, which is stasis and take the uh, take the guy out. Next round, we're going to full engage and kill the gatekeeper. Got it. Rosina Martinez will be the mi living mimic beacon, like I mentioned. Sonic Bomb, we're going to save that. Hogbite parries and kills the guy. Go, go, go. Moving up, mainly. Move, move, move. Good. Might as well conceal ourselves, there's no reason not to. And move up even further. Going to end the turn. Next turn our focus will be to get down the... Um, the gatekeeper and of course these two mechs right there. And then afterwards, we're going for the Chosen. Uh, I did have parry, by the way. Just mentioning it uh, casually, because it seems that the game uh, kind of has a tendency to ignore it. All right, teleportation. Fantastic. Unfortunately, his weapon is unaffected. That is really a shame. That is really a shame. Okay, cool. So. A couple of things here. Number one, I don't want anyone to bleed. Number two, a nice little combat protocol goes a long way. But we'll, before we're going to do that, let's see what we can uh, do with uh, the with a gatekeeper. Still got a stasis left over. Almost feels like we wanted to uh, want to take it out. Well, there is a pretty small chance of dominating it, but it would be absolutely hilarious if we if we would be successful doing it. So let's try to do it, nonetheless. Yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, I didn't get it. It's fine. Good. Let's teamwork over. Still got a stasis in case it doesn't work out. Uh, what else do we want to do? Void Rift would be minor damage at this point. Soulfire, more, very moderate damage. Yeah, we're probably best off with Inspire in terms of dealing some more damage. Let's go, we're 
starting with uh, some sort of damage that completely ignores uh, the armor. Why exactly does it take so long? Okay, thank you. Good. We're continuing to inspire Halo here. Hey, look, could charge in, get this guy down, and Bladestone would kill it. Not a bad idea. We could stasis um, the eyeball. In terms of Haywire protocol, you know what? Let's try that. Decent chance to take over control. Done that. Perfect. That also means we can just let it stand here, take the damage next round. Very good. Good. We're going to start charging in, because why not? Nice little crit. Still holding. Let's get this guy down. Lightstorm will kill it. We're hunkering down with the rookie. Could theoretically hit here. Probably not worth it. Although, one thing that we could do is we could amplify right over there. That'll make sure we're going to deal more damage to it. And this here is just to get more focus. And a parry. Perfect. Stunned for two rounds, which is even better. We don't need to um, put a stasis on it. Instead, what we can do on it uh, on it is insanity, just to uh, shred it for even more future damage. Uh, unfortunately failed. Wow, I absolutely love how Psy operates even with very low uh, uh, Psy amplifiers deal with uh, the uh, uh, deal with uh, the highest level enemies. Stasis is incredibly strong. Oh wow, yeah. I'm shivering. Okay. Moving away so that we're not going to get any extra damage. I'm not 100% sure if this here deals damage to him. doesn't show us if it would deal damage, which kind of indicates it does not. Good. Hogbite could deal some damage here, but probably not kill it. Halo by far is the most effective damage dealer 
so might as well use that to our advantage. If the thing explodes, it'll deal some damage. So Halo will take some uh, some damage here. But all things considered, it's going to be moderate. Alright. We're going to parry, fair enough. Now. By the way, I could have uh, stasis uh, Halo. I guess that would have been a small improvement potential. Six to eight points of damage, all right. Six to nine points of damage, also not bad. Let's start with uh, single target damage because that refreshes faster. Keep in mind we will deal more damage once we've upgraded our uh, equipment. Moving up. No need to heal yet. Instead, let's do some combat protocol. Second hit. We're dealing some decent damage. I'm pretty sure we're not going to deal any damage here. He might start to burn. Yeah, he's immune to to actual hits but he at least can start burning which isn't bad either i suppose all right moving up wait 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 fuse Ooh, nice we could explode uh, that i'll keep that in mind for now we're just using our standard mind blasts All right, this guy here is going to be our beacon, so might as well move him there. And at the same time, I don't know, can't really do anything against him. Might as well also move there. Uh, can't do sonic bomb either. We're just going to stand uh, right next to him. So that the AoE attacks will hit both of them. Alright, and turn. Burns for two, regenerates for three. And the regeneration, you can already see that that is going to be the biggest issue. Fantastic. Alright. Let's destroy our own mech. Untouchable and implacable. Good. Can we see him? Or is he actually too far away? Gotta hate it when he starts just moving away. And ironically enough, the vault. It's pretty decent damage. That's just as much as uh, the Psionic Steel at this point, the Psy Operatives. That was a nice trick, Templar. Moving to position. Moving up. All will suffer. And we're going for Null Lands. Wow, the fight against him will suck like a lot. Yes. An abundance of hit points. Getting it done. Done. Heading out. 
And it's almost... It's almost like he ha uh, his supply of hit points just won't stop. If you only hit him for 6 and 7 and 6 and 7... Oh, it's just... Poor damage output combined uh, with just a lot of hit points in general. Quick feet took a substantial hit. That's also something we gotta consider when we're going in. He will shoot back. There is... There's not much I can do about it. But we could stasis someone, theoretically, once they are exposed. Gotta keep that in mind. Good, what else? Hmm. We deal two more damage here. Stasis is a good option. Void drifting. Just to let him uh, eat more damage. There we go, almost down. We're going to kill him, um, but I can already see that there is uh, that he's taking quite a, a bit more um, damage than I would have expected. So I hope that with four uh, soldiers and higher psi ems that we're going to be fine. This here is to get focus and. essentially uh, to stay next to him and offer a potential target quick feet really can't do a lot so we're concealing and hunkering down same thing for halop immunity to melee just means immunity to melee so those two are out Moving up. Unfortunately, we can't really pin him to one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. For, for a second, it looked like I was uh, hitting the wrong spot there. But no. And that worked out beautiful. Unfortunately, we can't pin him because if he would stand there, that'll be pretty damn good. There we go, that's a solid parry. Right on the mark. That was the least likely outcome. Alright, for whatever reason my PC just decides to I'm on it. almost die. The FPS just went down dramatically. Alright, fuse really doesn't matter here. Yeah, we're we're running short uh, with uh, our cooldowns. Okay, but before we're doing that, let's get our codex out. Teleports over there to be a better target uh, than Dark Tower here. Dark Tower puts the nice little Void Rift up there. We're dealing a lot of damage. The problem uh, with the cooldowns is they're just coming through very, very slowly. Moving into cover, vault, and we're continuing to deal some damage. Can't kill him yet. He 
Yeah, there is unfortunately not much that I can do other than getting into a solid cover position. And we're hunkering down. Solid copy. Good. Moving completely out of line of sight. All right. One more turn and I think we got him down. The guy is tough as nails. Stupid bleeding, really. Edgar here is being fully healed. Yeah, we really gotta deal with him fast when we're engaging him. That's my learning from from this entire fight. All right, five points of damage. Fair enough. Moving up. Let's hopefully kill him. My mind is my weapon. Alright, another six, that's pretty damn good. The guy is still alive. Stings a little. And we're hitting with another vault. Oh boy. That was a tough, tough fight. Look, Psy, uh, Psy Operatives, they are good because they have a lot of agency on the battlefield, but they are used for crowd control and they rely on their ability to also take shots. That's the whole point about the class, that's why they are the best class in the game, because they can do it all. If you take away the shooting, even if they are fully powered up, uh, the cooldowns will actually start to become an issue. They are, they are not um, dealing. Uh, they are not dealing damage like throughout the entire encounter. They need to cool down in between engagements. However, however, these uh, two have the lowest psi amps, and that makes a huge difference. You can. It, it's almost like the psi operatives have used ballistic weapons only. So, I will be careful with my judgment. Given that they have the lowest Psy Amps, it was an absolute fantastic display. Um, imagine the whole thing with ballistic weapons, right? Alright, and we're back. I don't think that we got any promotions. But yeah, it was foreseeable that, that a lot of our troops will need a break after that. Got another Gatekeeper Shell that should be enough to, to finally upgrade. Okay, fantastic. In so let's do the engineering the here. We we will need to make Build items. Modifications to the shadow Weapons. First. Uh, we still need a second gatekeeper shell. We got one. All those people, millions of innocent lives unknowingly walking yeah, very soon we can upgrade uh, the we bond of both of our psi operatives. Having them on level 3 isn't bad either, because that means they can shift uh, between uh, themselves twice. So that should help us. Either way, we can't let this go on, no matter what the cost. Yeah, that should be fine. Sonic Gate, insufficient power. Well, that should not be a problem. Power relay here, upgrade. Power there we go. Upgraded. And let's try this again. Shadow chamber upgraded. There we go. Okay, fantastic. 
so yeah a couple of couple of uh learnings out of the fight number one i gotta definitely upgrade the psi amps elsewise the fight against him will be probably too difficult and secondly you can't we, we can't rely on just shooting him down immediately we will need to find a way of like sustaining a little bit against him I think it's possible. It will just, yeah, you just don't know take some careful positioning. The hunter is pretty fast, and the only ability that I'm afraid of is, uh, funnily enough, is normal hunter shots because they start to let uh, to to make you bleed. Got another superior speech that is good. Another specialist. Do we need one? Well, we got enough intel, so might as well do that. We do not need that. And we do not need anything else here. Okay. Good enough. In terms of selling. Yeah, we could get two of those. I'll keep the superior agility. Yeah, and in terms of PCS speed, I think we should be fine. Sonar here could take some more speed. Movement is really important. Rift has superior speed as well, the aliens have always been so might as well give him superior the speed. It was one failed science experiment after another. Okay, fantastic. And we got a specialist here. Let's take a look. And now it comes to this. And Above average uh, mm, intelligence, that's good. And not just that, but turning us to what? Covert fire and... God knows. We should have yeah, Guardian. Turn. And we're going know. with Capacity Discharger. Left. So yeah, I don't think that we're going to use him terribly often. But might as well have him kind of as, as an extra option. Let's take a look, like the uh, 22 dodge uh, definitely make him tanky uh, and we wanted to probably train him. Oh, we got some XCOM abilities, that's not bad. Well, blast padding is definitely nice. But in our specific run, I think Haywire Protocol is better and uh, Comet Protocol is definitely needed, so... Those are fine. Whom are we investing the other points into? I mean, Sonar here is great with his blast padding. The question is, is Sonar better or is Rift better? They have very similar abilities. Rift has one less with scanning protocol and Sonar has Roby as a teammate could argue that that is a pretty damn good reason for taking him and essentially Roby into the last mission. Uh, if Sona is going to be our guy, the run gun wouldn't be bad, lightning reflexes also wouldn't be bad, but first and foremost restoration is needed for the fight against uh, the Chosen. Uh, because that will heal everyone. That'll be a really nice group heal. And run gun is okay. The lightning reflex is probably even better. We had a couple of times when we wanted to use Skulljack, but there was an overwatch from a heavy mech. And if he could just avoid that, that would be good. Okay, time to do some scanning. 
I think we're not really looking for anything. Course for Mexico. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see... Oh, yeah, I just... I just saw that. I just saw that. We're definitely going to go... Just, uh, anywhere is fine, really. Avenger plotting new course. Just saw the UFO, right? And I was like, oh, wow. Is it about time again? Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest Fantastic. We got uh, a, few days rest, a promotion right here. Just received some new intel on the Chosen, Commander. The Resistance found a way into the And Zirkim is a colonel as well. That's pretty good. So, what do we want to do? Uh, we got plus nine dodge. That is great. Mobility isn't bad. This here is actually not too shabby. That'll be an ability, such as... Lightning reflexes and plus one mobility. That one is nice as well. I always like Avatar um, pro uh, project reduction. Plus nine. The weapon upgrade isn't needed. Promotion is uh, pretty good. Art of War is fantastic. Unfortunately, it doesn't work uh, retroactively. This here is good. It's maybe something that we should get. This here would sabotage the activity of the Chosen. And he's currently trying to sabotage us. I think we're going for Intel and Dodge, to be honest. The nine Dodge aren't bad. I think Roby was the one who uh, refused to stack Dodge so far. Might as well continue to do that. Let's... Um, use a couple of these guys. Yeah, and in eight days we're going to be fine. I'll order my people to get underway immediately. Yeah, having near 100 dodge uh, definitely is a good thing. Inspire as the first ability for Q, uh, XQS 6. Uh, not optimal, but it's okay. We're going to go with Null Lens. Like I said, we wanted solid damage, and Null Lens is exactly that. Look at XQS 6. He has lost like his little... Uh, his... Uh, Little top ponytail. A new, more wiser look after he has finished his training. So, with more null lances, we would at least get more damage uh, on the sarcophagus, which isn't bad. So, that would be a net net win. Shit, you know what I should have probably done? Uh, by rethinking it, if we would have countered the Chosen and he would have not been successful, then that also means he does not get knowledge. So that would have bought us probably more time. Yeah. Maybe I should have tried to counter him. I hope at least a few of them down there know how to fight. There's no Good. Operation Swamp God is the next one. Uh, quite a few interesting enemies here, including a Sectoid. Uh, what we did not get is a gatekeeper, and that's what we desperately need, more gatekeepers. But yeah, we're going to do that. Let's take a look at our soldiers, training center. So... That would really not be the right time to do the training. I wanted to do both of the psyops in order uh, in order to upgrade their bond.
so let's see our psi operatives two more days until the wounding is done and then we can upgrade their bond from i think level one to level two well that's fair they are eventually they will eventually get to level three we haven't used them a lot in combat so actually they uh, do not have the upgrade uh, not the upgrade yet but yeah, ev almost everybody is available, so we can take uh, quite a few extra soldiers. By now, as you can see, we do have uh, almost everybody to Colonel rank. So, Sane, Quickfeed, Halop, Sukukur, and, uh, and maybe a few high level ones should be enough. I really want to use the Skirmisher as well. Maybe we're just putting judge in there for for good measure but to be honest i also like him at the sergeant rank because that will round up uh, the team we, we would almost have a full team that can uh, go on to those low level missions yeah i think it's fine the way it is okay good cool one last check do we need to build anything can we build anything the answer is no, of course not. We got a couple of cores. Might as well get another armor. At this point, yeah, not really anything that we're looking for in particular. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, guys, for watching. Next round will be a... Uh, alien attack mission and we're going to see us in two days uh, if you like the content feel free to leave a comment down below and see you in the next run bye bye